Everyone, welcome to the show. So a North Carolina man has been arrested and charged with very serious federal crimes after allegedly committing numerous racially motivated attacks. This man's name is Marion Hudak. Um, Hudak is accused of repeatedly, verbally, and physically attacking his Mexican-American neighbors. In November of 2021, the neighbor's son noticed that his car had been egged in the middle of the night. And Hudak came out of his home and he started complaining about the lights on the car waking up his daughter. So that's when Hudak reportedly told the son that the family should, quote, go back to their country. I mean, I would say you first, Hudak, right? Doesn't sound like a Native American name to me. Um, and uh, apparently, I, when I thought that, I was right because the Daily Bee said that Hudak immigrated to the U.S. from Slovakia. So such hypocrisy. Anyway, Hudak is also said to have called the neighbors, quote, fucking Mexican alcoholics. And after that, Hudak apparently charged at this neighbor's son and he punched him in the lip before the neighbor then hit Hudak in the stomach and the face and the back of his head. So Hudak fell to the ground and the neighbor was able to grab a shotgun out of his trunk. So he pointed the shotgun at Hudak and he told him to get out of his yard. So Hudak then, who was on all fours, got up and charged at him again, slammed him into his vehicle. So it damaged the, this guy's vehicle. They continued to fight. And then the neighbor briefly hand the, this guy he's fighting, hands his weapon off to another person who's watching all of this go down. He then later took the weapon back, pointed it at Hudak again, who continued to make racial slurs. And he allegedly said, quote, when I see you again, I'm going to run you off the road. I'm going to kill you. That's what Hudak said. So this neighbor also told the police that Hudak has tried to run him off the road multiple times, that he verbally has attacked the neighbor's sisters who are only nine and 13 years old. And during that incident, Hudak reportedly walked towards the girls and their dog with a baseball bat. And then Hudak also has harassed and recorded the neighbor's wife and her children at a bus stop. He was using racial slurs against them. They said that they were forced to move to another bus stop because they just didn't want to deal with it. And then following this incident, the charging document said that Hudak was seen and heard screaming racist rhetoric through his truck's loudspeakers in the parking lot of a Sam's Club. So that was in July of 2022. The following month, when the neighbor's mother went outside to empty the garbage, Hudak reportedly called her a bunch of racial slurs um, and, and other, you know, sexist words and just derogatory terms. Um, he told her, quote, I promise you this is never going to end. Two months after that, in October of 2022, Hudak allegedly attempted to run a black man and his passenger off the road. So the driver said that he was stuck in traffic. Hudak pulls up next to them on the passenger side of his vehicle and he yelled N-word, come here, boy. And then Hudak apparently also yelled out things about Trump, of course. And the driver said that he saw what looked like a bunch of throwing knives that were jammed into the driver's side window of Hudak's truck. Um, so when the traffic picked up, they said that Hudak tried to cut the victim off and it caused that guy to swerve. Then the driver tried to get away, but Hudak chased him down. And then when the car stopped in traffic again, Hudak jumped out of his truck and he approached the driver's side window. Hudak beat on the driver's window. This while he's yelling racial slurs at him, he keeps yelling the N-word at him. Luckily, the light turned green and the driver took off again. So Hudak jumps back in his truck and follows the guy down, chases this guy down, follows him to his apartment complex. As the driver approached his home, he apparently realized that Hudak was following him. So he called someone at his apartment. I don't know if it was his mother or who it was, but he explained the situation. He said, hey, can you call the police? Also, I need you to bring my assault rifle outside when I get here. I need you out here when I pull up. So that may have saved the driver's life because at that point, 
Hudak had someone else with him. There was another man in an SUV. So both he and Hudak pulled into this complex and their vehicles were basically blocking the sole entrance and exit to the apartment complex. So this guy is trapped. This guy is pinned in. Hudak allegedly pointed a gun out of his window and he threatened to kill this man and his passenger. And Hudak yelled, quote, I will kill you, N word, and quote, I will shoot that black B word. I know where you live, I will be back. He also exited his vehicle at one point and they said that he was holding a weapon. So the, the victim, who was referred to only as JS, is said to have pointed his gun back at, at Hudak and he told him that the police have been called and you need to leave. Well, before Hudak took off, he also pointed his gun at the female who brought the victim's gun outside. So officers arrive on the scene. They were able to stop Hudak. He had taken off, but they tracked him down. They, they ran him down. Um, however, the officers checked his truck and they said that they couldn't find anything in his truck because, quote, there's just so much stuff. I mean, seriously, really? You can't find a gun in a truck. So luckily, there was another witness to the gun. There was another resident in the apartment complex, and she was attempting to leave while all of this was going down. This is a black woman who has had her own encounters in the past with Hudak and his racism. So she also called 911. She reported seeing guns that day. And the charging document goes on to cite numerous additional incidences in which Hudak targeted other black people in the area. And when the police questioned Hudak at one point, he had the nerve to say, quote, I can't take this anymore. I got banned from Sam's Club because they said I yell F black people. It's my First Amendment and I will use it because they ask for trouble. They ask for trouble. This is someone trying to run people off the road, hunting people down, following them to their homes, and they ask for trouble. Typical freaking bigot. No self-awareness, living in a perpetual state of victimhood. So you won't be surprised to hear Hudak's truck is decked out with Confederate flags and Trump stickers. The good news is Hudak was finally arrested on October 13th of 2022, so he will be one less Trump voter in 2024 because he has been charged with interference with federally protected activities and criminal interference with the right to fair housing. So those would normally be misdemeanors that carry a max sentence of up to one year. But because the attack on Hudak's neighbor resulted in bodily injury, and because Hudak brandished a weapon in the attack on the black couple, the crimes are elevated to a felony. So each of them comes with a maximum potential sentence of up to 10 years. So keep opening your mouths, bigots. Keep threatening people. Please, we would love to lock all of you up. At least I would. Anyway, guys, I will let you know uh, when I hear more on this case, when I hear more about Hudak. But yeah, I mean, this guy was just harassing the hell out of and, and tormenting and terrorizing this area for months and months and months. And either because people are too afraid to report it because of backlash or and because they think nothing is going to happen, um, you know, or just because they just let them get away with it because some of the police actually agree with some of this stuff they agree with these sentiments right we know that we we saw that on january 6th we've seen this at proud boys events we've seen it at blm events where they did nothing when the proud boys and others attacked blm protesters yeah high-fiving them so anyway, guys, like I said, I will let you know when I hear more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you guys. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.